Okay, how to use the note in mind and what is it? So if I were to ask you a question and I want you to keep the mouth closed, so no verbal expression, I'm gonna ask the question, what is your name? And you're gonna give me the answer. How would that happen? Well, you know your name and you would say internally, my name is, and I'll use my name, Nick. So there's this internal voice that we have. And who is that internal voice? It's a very philosophical question. And we're gonna get deeper into it when we move into the phase of alchemy of the ego. Yet, just to have a basic understanding, we all know and can hear that we have a voice internally. And so this is going to be our noting mind. And the noting mind is that internal awareness to what is happening. So if I am thinking and I am not aware that I am thinking about something, overthinking, then the overthinking can last minutes, sometimes five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. Sometimes we can't even go to sleep because there is so much overthinking about a subject. And sometimes it's not even one subject. We overthink one thing and all of a sudden our mind goes to another thing and then another thing. And so the note in mind is really the life that you have within you. And what I mean by that is imagine that you are in a dark room. It becomes very difficult to see where the ceiling and floor are. It's difficult to know where the corners of the room are. It's almost a helpless situation. And oftentimes that is what it feels like when we don't have control over our mind. And so by using the noting mind, which allows us to cultivate awareness internally on what's happening, it is like having a flashlight. So you're still in that dark room and now you've switched on your flashlight. You can point it up and say, ah, this is the ceiling. You can point it down and say, ah, this is the floor. And you can point around the room and say, this is one corner, here's another corner. And now all of a sudden, even though you don't get to see the entire room all at once, you can build a map within your mind and say, I have a better understanding of what is happening in this room. And the same can go for what is happening internally for us. We can begin to see that overthinking is occurring when we take the label thinking on the experience of thinking. And so it's important to understand the functions of the mind while using the noting mind. The basic functions of the mind is that it will bounce back and forth between remembering and thinking. And I go over this in the secondary objects on kind of the basics of what those things are. And so when remembering happens, you're thinking about the past. And that is okay in your meditation. What I want you to do is when you are starting to think back or remembering of an experience, that is your time to remind yourself. Remembering remembering you are putting the flashlight onto a subconscious experience that's happening rather than living in the here and now which is our primary object the breath the purpose of the noting mind is to build up tremendous amounts of emotional awareness you can literally make a mental note on every experience that is happening in life and each moment, you can make a note on what that moment is. And I tell you this with experience. At the 60 days of meditation, that was our work. Every moment we had to make a note. If I was taking a shower and I was washing my body, I was reaching for the soap, grabbing, squeezing, pulling, bending, touching, pressure, there are so many little actions that we miss. And so that is one of the purposes behind the noting mind is to capture the little moments in life. And so I think this gives a good understanding to what the noting mind is. 
That is your ability to become aware of what is happening. And the reason for doing this is so that we can continuously remind ourselves to return back to the primary object. Now let me touch base on the Nodi mind with the primary object. When we inhale, which we now label as rising because it is one of the characteristics of the inhale, we will use the mental note rising. The same will occur for when we are exhaling. We will use the mental note falling. What we want to do is lag behind the primary object. So when we feel the sensation of inhale, we want to then say rising. We don't want to give a command by using the nodi mind. There is a very uh, distinct difference. The nodi mind is not used as a mantra. It is not used as a command. So what I mean by that is you are sitting and you're saying to yourself internally, rising, falling, rising, falling. This is not what we're going for. We're trying to connect to the natural or biological phenomenon of what is. And so when we feel the sensation, we then label it with the rising. When we feel the exhale, we then label it with the falling. And so what happens if we don't have this clarity just yet? What do we do? Well, we label that as blurry. We can label that as confused. We can label this, I don't know, or not knowing. Whatever word resonates in your vocabulary for the experience that you are experiencing, use it. As you continue to meditate, you will build up different levels of awareness. So hopefully this gives a basic understanding. In actuality, there's no advanced understanding. Your awareness will just continue to sharpen and the noting mind will become more direct. Yet what I'm trying to say is I, I, I hope that this gives you a good education around the noting mind. All right, I'll see you in the next video.